Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on constipation, that awfully embarrassing condition that none of us like to talk about, but actually, secret revealed, it affects at least half of us. All the surveys we've done over the years show that more than half the women that have answered the questions in the surveys suffer with constipation. So why is that? What's going on in our gut? Because the gut is very important. By some scientists, it's now regarded as our second brain. So what goes on inside your gut is terribly important. So you need to understand, first of all, that the gut is made of smooth muscle. And those muscles are meant to relax and contract. It's two types of muscles that send the motions from your mouth, the back of your mouth, right the way down to your tail. And if the muscles are working properly, it will propel the motions through. But what tends to happen is those muscles need magnesium and other good nutrients. And we know from our research that so many women, over 70% of women, are short of magnesium. And that stops the muscles from working. They literally go into spasm. And so everything gets compacted. Sometimes people describe their emotions as rabbit droppings that don't come out very often and it's really important because we stand a higher risk of getting things like bowel cancer if our bowel is completely constipated so we need to do something about that there are some wonderful things that you can do first of all taking magnesium is important because as i said it's the most common nutritional deficiency amongst women and that helps the muscle to work normally as well as having lots of benefits for hormone health and then the other thing is taking some flaxseed and they help to bulk up the motion and make the motion really smooth so that it glides through and ideally you should be having a motion every day to keep your gut healthy and you can take as much magnesium as necessary within reason to obviously follow the instructions on the pot if you're not having proper help from a practitioner but you can take enough magnesium if you get too much magnesium in your system you can get diarrhea you can go the other way so you just need and also if you're still having a period you need to bear in mind that you've got different requirements for different times of your cycle because you tend to get very constipated premenstrually so even women going through perimenopause might notice that their bowel habits change and then when their period comes they tend to go the other way so you may need to adjust the dosage of what you're doing but certainly I hear from patients that constipation that they've had for life in fact someone in my boot camp said just the other day that she's had constipation since she was 14 years old and thought that she would die with it and within the space of a few weeks on the boot camp she's completely symptom free so that it makes a huge difference to how you feel you're not bloated you haven't got wind anymore you're not looking like you're a size bigger than you actually are and you can't do your zips up forget about your bowels take your attention off and get on with living so you don't need to go on suffering with that symptom anymore i really hope that helps you and certainly i'd look forward to hearing good news from you you can go to my website and get some more wisdom each week